Can you toilet train two cats at one time? I attempted to toilet train Ziggy and Zelda using City Kitty, which is a six ring toilet training system. Even when they were little itty bitty kittens, Zelda was not a very good litter box user. Ziggy always went in after her to cover up her pee and poop. Since she wasn't a very good litter box user, I knew that it might be a challenge to try to get her to be toilet trained. At first, they didn't know what to think, so they used the toilet as a bed. In the beginning of training them, I used the local grocery store litter, which was a big mistake because it wasn't sewer safe. I suggest either using sewer safe litter or this litter from Love's which is called World's Best Litter. It goes right down your toilet and it won't clog. Ziggy understood what to do and used the toilet right away. So I had hoped that Zelda would follow in his footsteps. Next to the toilet used to be a litter box. In its place I put a wee wee pad. I spent about a month on the first ring before I moved to the next so Zelda could catch up. Ziggy had no problem moving on to the second ring. He caught on very quickly. If you want to see a more in-detailed video of Ziggy getting to round two, I have another video that I will link down below. Here you can see Zelda catching up and using the second ring as well. Even though it took about a month to get to ring two, I feel it was well worth it because I got both cats using the toilet at the same time. Once we were on ring two, Ziggy knew exactly what to do and never had any more accidents. like going on the toilet. She sometimes still had accidents. Be prepared for your bathroom to become a mess. Litter will go everywhere when they're scratching at the toilet seat. As the rings got bigger, both cats were curious and were putting their head down into the toilet and splashing around in the water and getting the water all over the place. So not only may you have to deal with litter, you may have to deal with water as well. So at this point I had both cats on the second ring and um, I noticed that Zelda really didn't want to do it anymore. She would get up on the toilet, she would scratch, she would walk around, but she wouldn't do her business on the toilet. And then she walked into the tub.
As soon as Zelda walked into the tub and realized that she can go down the shower drain and not get herself dirty, that was the moment that I lost her with toilet training. I attempted as much positive reinforcement as I could to try to get her back on the toilet, but it just wasn't going to happen. I lost Zelda toilet training at ring two, but I continued with Ziggy to see how far he would go, and he had no problem continuing on to the next ring. I heard Zelda in the tub, so I went in to see what was going on. It looked like she really had to go, so I didn't want her to go in the tub and I physically picked her up and brought her over to the toilet, thinking maybe if she smelled the litter, she would want to go into the toilet. And as you can see from here, she walks around, she smells the litter, but she doesn't want to go on the toilet. And I really don't want to force a cat who doesn't want to go on the toilet to go on the toilet. If she's more comfortable going in the tub and still I don't have to clean it up, I have no litter box and she goes right in the drain, that's what I'm going to allow her to do. Um, and so I have one cat that is toilet trained and one cat that likes to go in the shower drain. To get to this point, it took four months to get to. Now understand that I had two cats. So although Ziggy was progressing, Zelda was not. And I was hoping that at some point, she would get the hang of it. Once I realized I lost her, I just continued with Ziggy and it went much faster. I think Ziggy actually enjoyed going into the toilet because he always got treats afterwards. The positive reinforcement really helped Ziggy learn where to go. Ziggy was becoming a pro at toilet training at this point. I only spent about a week, maybe two, on this ring before I started him on the next one.
string is the final ring before there's no more ring left and it's just a toilet seat. It's a big step. I put a lot less litter and there's also a lot less space for him to put his feet in the insert. He now has to learn that his feet always goes on the toilet seat. At this point, Zelda absolutely refuses to go on the toilet. She only goes in the shower drain. How would you feel if you were toilet training your cats and one continued to progress and one went in the shower drain where there's still no mess? I'm, I'm sure you would do the same thing and just allow your cat to go down the shower drain. So this is where we're at right now, the final ring. I have taken out that ring and just had a toilet seat. And for the first time in months, Ziggy had an accident. So I don't think he likes just the toilet seat. He likes to have that ring around, maybe a security. So I'm going to live with, as long as I can, this last little ring and have no litter box in a small apartment and it makes me happy. So the question is, can you toilet train two cats? I can toilet train one cat to go in the toilet and the other cat to go in the tub. I don't know if that's a good answer, but that's the answer I got.